All right, so I figured I'd show you this as a little uh, thrift store find. Uh, this is a Eureka the Boss Pro. It's not in the best condition possible, but it could be worse. Or it could be better, whatever. So I picked this up for always like 21 bucks, whatever. I was about to get that yo Eureka where I seen this from, from, whatever, but I was like, nah. Um, so if I go back there and if it's still there, I'm going to grab it. Um, so yeah, here it is. The filter I need to be cleaned up on it, so I cleaned it up a little bit. Suction actually got a little bit back now. Um, this thing looks like it's going a little bit brittle, too, on the plastic, um, as we can see by this thing here. Uh, I can see that the screw holder inside there, um, and this is really stupid, freaking annoying. There we go. But, like, the screw holder in there is unfortunately broken, and you can't really get parts of these Eureka vacuums anymore, so. I might have to get a new tank, I don't know. Um, but it came with a crevice tool and extension tube. Um, there was a shark navigator lit the way there that had a, a bunch of bits attachments, whatever. But I believe this and the shark were from the same motor, so I just grabbed this, whatever. So, yeah, here's the crevice tool. It's not in as bad as condition as it needs, though. Um, and it is unfortunately missing the dusting brush, but I queried. I have a bunch of those, really, so I could just stick one on there, whatever, no problem. Um,. So, um, so yeah, here's the labeling. It's coming off, peeling off, obviously. It's got a brush with indicator, just like Eureka Optima would. Um, show you the model number. This is a 41, or 411, actually. Wow. It's about the shortest model number I've dealt with yet. Um, so yeah, it's from 2005, I believe. If I'm guessing correctly, it's from 200 day of 2005. Bloomington, Illinois. Um, so it works though. I reach right out and it works just fine. Here's the hose, whatever. Um, if you guys are wondering how to remove a hose on one of these, you just take it, twist up here a little bit, and it should just pull out just like that, whatever. No problem. You just take it um, back in there, and there you go. Sorry, I couldn't get the Hoover guys, but yeah. Um, so, plastic wheels. Court cable is in good condition, too, so. It does have the folding handle, which I actually like, though. I have not had a vacuum probably in, like, forever with the folding handle, really, so. So, if this handle breaks, though, it's done for, really, because you can't really get parts of these Eurekas anymore. Part including this one. I know that. So, show you the brush roll. It has the original brush roll in it. It could probably do for a change, though, because it makes, like, a rattling sound a little bit. But I know my green Eureka Optima that I had down my shed does that, too, so. The bristles are a little bit stiff. But mostly soft. There's a rubber on this side. On both sides, actually. Squeegee. It's actually cracking up a little bit. A little bit cracked up down there. Can see, I guess it's brittle plastic, whatever. But it's not a bad vacuum; it still holds just fine, whatever. I will show you it running here in just a minute. But yeah, let's cut that off. Floor setting and carpet setting right here. You can actually have the brush hole still going while you're having it on har on hardwood floor because it's got the um the squeegee on the bottom, so you don't have to really deal with nothing like that, really. really so, um. So, yeah, that's that. I guess I'll show you it running here, guys. Sorry, the room's kind of a mess. Um, but we're getting there, really. So, so the handle, it's honestly like, a, like the other fold away a little bit. With the, with a bit of a loose handle. I can already show, tell you guys that this thing is probably not that common to find, really. But since I seen it, I grabbed it, whatever. I actually seen it at the last time I was at the thrift store, whatever, at that exact thrift store. So anyway, here it is on uh, bear four. Here it is on the carpet setting.
So you can see it runs just fine, whatever. I'm definitely gonna have to clean the filter up more on it though. I'm probably gonna actually do a bit of brushing with it tomorrow, whatever. Um, but it works just fine though. Um, I know the brush was not supposed to be sounding like that. I know it's supposed to be sounding a lot, a lot smoother. But honestly, you know, this thing's from 2005, and you know what can we expect? I'm actually, I was actually born in 2005, so yeah. So that's the Eureka, the Boss Pro. Um, tell me how you guys like it. Tell me which guys want to see. When can, I'll see when I can do it. When, when can I do it? And uh, yes, yeah, I'll probably do a uh, vacuum video trial probably tomorrow with this thing and maybe review. So. Um, but anyway, let's see if we get the bus, bro. Stay tuned for more.